Man, I just host or didn't host. Jesus, I warmed up for the VMAs. Oh yeah, yeah. and I, like, I you don't you don't know who the hell anybody is. Well, I Why? saw on your because I'm 34. I saw on weird. your Instagram you said you bombed. Were you being cute or did you bomb? I haven't bombed like that since the 80s. <laughs> I mean, it was bana- It was beyond a bomb. So you went out there. Did they introduce you? It was the whole. The whole thing was fucked. I got a phone call two days before, and I had to cancel a bunch of spots. They're like, do you want to warm up the VMAs? I was like, oh my god, good money, Radio City. They'll pick you up in a limo, put a suit on, the whole thing. Plus, you'll get to see all the celebrities, not realize sure. that you don't know who any of them I are. I have anyway. no idea. So they go, all right, the show is at nine. We'll pick you up at six. You know, they always do that. Mm -hmm. So I put my suit on, which I never do. I go down there. They get a limo. I bring a lady with me. Like, oh, I'm going to impress her. I like what you do with your suit. Let let the Loosen top that button. tie. Yeah, let, let it undone. Easier like... to throw it over a fucking uh, beam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, look at that. That's a Louis C.K. Rolex, by the way. Oh, he wow. gave me that. Oh, is that right? Yeah, for the tour and for. So I um, <laughs> had to do it. So uh, you show up, you get there at like six thirty, and all these people start filing in. I'm in this holding pen for all the talent, and I'm with the girl, and she's younger. She's in her twenties, so she's like, "That's the guy from One Direction. That's BB. She's a big star." Is this your girlfriend? It. Yeah, I see. She's a big star in England. Da, da, da. I'm like, I don't know who. I, I'm in a suit. They're all hot and hip. I felt like a principal. Right. You know, I'm, I'm running around. Down nobody there. else was wearing suits. Nobody. Right. Nobody. They're all wearing crazy shit and they've yeah. all fucked Kylie Jenner. It's a whole thing. Yeah. I see. I, so I start getting kind of nervous. I start panicking. Like, no one's telling me anything. No one's going, hey, you're on at this time. This is what we need you to do. I'm getting no info. And everybody's running around with a headset and a clipboard. Like, it's chicken. a nightmare. It's Scary. a nightmare. They, they've been doing it 40 years. Why can't they do it right? I don't get it. It's, it's still a fucking shit show. That's how I feel when I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a, it's a circus down there. So now it's like, I'm supposed to do 10 minutes. And now it's like 8, 10, 8, 30. And I'm like, the show starts at 9. When are they going to have me on? And, and now I'm starting to get that thing like, maybe they'll just forget about me. Yeah, no you're one, hoping, right? Yeah, I'm hoping. Like, I'll get my paycheck. I showed up. They pick me up. They'll just forget, and I'll just go home. Sure. And uh, so now it's like 8.58. I'm like, I think I'm out of this. Did I'm, they tell you to be clean or no? Everything. Clean. Don't talk about Trump. Don't talk about kids in cages. Like, nothing in the news. So... Now it's like 8.58. I'm like, I think I, I got out of this. And then this fat guy comes in with cargo shorts. He hey. goes, Mark Norman. The whole place turns. I go, hey, that's me. And he goes, get over here. You're on. I go, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so he, no. he brings me through the bowels of uh, Radio City. There's a million people everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. See you, man. But you go through all these emotions. <laughs> like yeah. You went from... I'm relieved. Like, you finally had that moment of, okay, it's not happening. Exactly. And then instantly find out, not only is it happening, it's happening right now. now. Yes. Let's go. No time to warm up. No time to think. Go. Yes. And it's open bar down there. So I've been hitting tequilas all night <laughs> for like three hours. So finally, he's like, come, he's pulling me through all these like half B celebrities and Bravo stars, you know, and I get, get out there and you're just out there. Holy shit. You're in Radio City and I'm behind the curtain and this old guy with a, with a headset goes, all right. So, uh, you know, all the names of the artists, you got the rap sheet and i was like rap sheet he goes they didn't prep you i was like no and he's like well what's this and i'm holding a piece of paper and he goes is that the list of the artists i go no these are my jokes and he goes jokes oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I thought this was a gig i thought i was gonna be doing stand-up and he was like stand-up no you're the hype man you gotta get out there and talk about all the the acts you like and whose song is what oh, so so you hear warm-up and you think warm-up comedy yes, of course. they yes. say warm-up and they mean just like hype man warm-up who's totally. ready to see cardi b yeah hand like clap stuff you know like <laughs> yeah. put your hands together this side now this side all that bullshit like oh, the hokey pokey like, like tip yes like the t-shirt gun yeah Yes, shit. right. Okay. Exactly. You're more the master of ceremonies completely than a comedian, and you yes. go, "Oh no, not, I don't know how to do that. I'm a piece of shit, dry cunt. I got nothing." Although that's an easier thing, yelling at people. This side of the room make noise. That side make. Uh, who but wants to see that? If he right. doesn't know the names, that's easier. He doesn't know the names though. He's not prepped. Right. That's what yeah. I mean. And I've never done that before. I, I find that silly and, and it retarded. It stinks. It stinks, and it takes zero talent. And I've worked on my. Act. I know my act. My act works. But not in this setting because it's half about Jews and Puerto Ricans and whatever. Right. So, so he goes, "You're just doing ten minutes. I'll come get you at nine. I'm like, "Come get me. Just light me." He's like, "Light you?" He didn't know anything. We were all <laughs> we were on two different planets. Because you're talking stand up comedy yes. and nobody yeah. there's interested. No, he doesn't right. care. So uh, he's like, "All right, you're on." He just pushes me out there with a cordless mic. So did you have the names of people? No, he never gave it. To me. <laughs> So I just, he's just like, go, go. He's like shooing me out. And I just walk out there. It's fucking three tiers, 5,000 people, smoking hot girls. They're all 21. 
know, all these hot guys in weird outfits like blazers with no shirt under it and crazy hair. Probably celebrities and, at right, right sure. in the front row. All celebrities. So I just go out and go, how you guys doing? I get like a, eh. You know, like, no one cares. They're all selfieing. They're all tweeting and looking at each other. And it's like smoking. It's it's all the people you got into comedy to to please. Like, these are all high school people who made fun of me. And now yeah. I'm trying to impress them again. And they hate me again. Well, plus, it's like, you're doing, like, <laughs> you're doing very well. But you're not, like, a celebrity. I'm nobody. And they're excited to see celebrities on the stage. Yes. And right. I'm just some douche in a, in a suit. Right. I look like a, like a like the accountant of the VMAs. Yeah, cause like, nobody's wearing suits. No, nobody's <laughs> wearing a suit. So I get out there, and I'm like, how you guys doing? Like, eh. And I'm like, all right. So I kind of go into my act, and that is, they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> what, what, what joke did you open with? Ah, uh, I'm embarrassed to come say. On, come, come on, come on. Well, I just did the Tonight Show, like, a week before this. So I was feeling pretty good. Like, I, I, I know what the kid's like. So I do a joke about selfies, because they're all selfieing. And even the setup, they didn't even hear. So then the punchline, I was like, here it comes. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what was felt... the, what's the punchline? What's the joke? Oh, God. It works. I know. I all know. Right. You're hilarious. So I talk about how uh, women, are, they're all, they know how to look good. So they, sure. they take a self, they, they figured out to take the selfie up here. It's because they know where the good sight lines are. That's why women like tall guys, because it's just some guy looking at you from your best angle 100% of the time. And that's why I don't like short guys, because you just. A guy looking up at you going, look at the triple chin on this broad. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you reaching for it. I saw you reaching. Oh, that was a fucking nail in my asshole. <laughs> I you saw it. fucking cunt. Uh, Where's your line? You're <laughs> You stupid fucking cunt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but that's what happened out there. Oh, that was that was just a car crash. This was like a fucking train derailing. What a story, Mark. <laughs> so wait, but the hard part is when you... I don't have any relative experience, but I remember one time... Dude, I think I was opening for Dice, and the crowd was being really awful. And I remember doing my opening thing... And they didn't hear the setup, but Same. I knew the punchline. And you like, you're like, this is gonna bomb because they didn't hear my setup. Yeah, there's right. no way to fix this. No, like, there's this no isn't way. My, this isn't my fault. But I, there's nothing else I can what do. What you got to do sometimes is spend a few seconds or a minute getting them focused, and then sneak into the opening joke. Yes, do the stuff that you hate to do. You know, I, I, just get them all going. Or if you can, get it, it stinks. It's it like, stinks. But you probably, when opening with that, you probably thought that's exactly what you were doing. Because since they're all taking sure. selfies, right. they're all young. Yeah. They take, let me start with it. Oh, this guy's talking about selfies. That's, let me listen to that him. That was my game plan. Yeah. And Did the work? joke works. It works at, the, on, at clubs. No, it got zero. Like, they got, didn't hear the setup, like you said. And this, once they don't hear the setup, you're dead in the water. And then they're just going, this guy sucks. And you're like, no, you missed the setup, you cunts. This is what but, the joke got. <laughs> so what happened? What was the second thing you did after that? Didn't work. You're like, so right. after that, I'm like, all right, let's go in. Uh, uh, let's call an audible. Let's just go into crowd work. So I go, who's from New York? Woo! Who's not from New York? Woo! Who's from out of town? I'm doing all. It's babysitting. It's That's all it is. is. But that is the shit you got to do. With That's what kids. I got to yeah. do. And there's guys who are good at that. Oh yeah. And it's an art. It's an art. It's really fucking hard to do. Like I never shit on warm up guys or look down on them. That's a hard fucking job, man. Yeah. So yeah. I am dying. So now I'm just trying to like fuck with people in the crowd, and you know I'm trying to stay true to myself as a guy walking by with this and that. And I go, oh, I bought coke from him, and everybody's like, why would why would you say that? And I'm like, <laughs> this guy looks like a pedophile, and that guy like, Ugh. and so I'm bombing, I'm bombing, and before I know it, J Lo and A Rod walk past me, literally like four feet away from me. And you know when you're bombing, you just reach for anything. Yeah. So I go, ah, J Lo, and I just reach out for, her and she goes, Ooh! <laughs> like, like hides and uh, she was on stage. Yeah, because she had to cross over. I'm, there's like three different stages, like a mosh pit, and I'm on one of the stages. So yeah, she had to go over my stage to get to her area. You tried to kidnap J Lo. Yeah, and you're not even supposed to look her in the eye, let alone go J Lo. Did someone say that? What? Don't look her in the eye. Oh yeah, that's part of her rider. Like that's her thing. You can't look her in the eye. So I'm like reaching out for her, and A Rod's is like, ooh, this poor guy. <laughs> and uh, they both looked amazing, by the way. But but they didn't stop and talk to you. Oh. God, no, no. Did I was they stay up pariah. on stage to at least wave to everybody? No. They, no, just, they went, they went right down. to their thrones, and yeah. I was just like, oh, I could have used you. Jesus. So now I'm back to and nothing. And where's the girl, by the way? She's watching this debacle? No, she's in the back. None of this is televised, thank God. Did it help you with the audience when you reached out for J-Lo and she didn't even look at you? No, they were like, oh, he's definitely a creep. <laughs> like, we hate you more now. <laughs> if J-Lo had stopped, might have given me some clout. Right. So now I'm bombing, I'm bombing. I try another joke. That What's the other joke? Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> and uh, that goes right to hell. And uh, eventually... 
eventually, I'm just like, I go into fight or flight mode where I go, look, uh, I don't know why I'm here either. What the fuck am I doing? Why did they hire me? This sucks. I hate this. This is stupid. You were saying that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had nothing left because you have to fill air. You got to fill time. Yeah. So you have to keep talking. And I look over and the old guy with the headset's going, get off, get off. And he's waving me in. And I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, thank you, everybody. And they're, they're clapping like, he's leaving. Oh. Thank God he's leaving. And I was like, ah, oh, thank God they hated me. And I go over to the guy and he goes, you did eight and a half. I couldn't take it. I had to pull you in. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could take it. They're like watching me in the booth like, who's this guy? What is this? And they pulled Why me off. They didn't prep this. you at all. Yeah. They didn't prep me at all. And I got back to the, to the green room area and the girlfriend was like, well, what happened? That was like two seconds. You you done already? I was like two seconds. I'm covered in sweat. My <laughs> pants are disheveled. My ties around my asshole. It was who was thing. that in the picture right there? So I'm bombing, and this is my buddy Scott Rogowski. It was the only guy he does laughing. The trivia app, right? He does the, the he's the HQ guy. Yeah, he's an old friend of mine. But it, it was one guy laughing in the crowd, and it was him. Was he laughing at your jokes or laughing at you? He was laughing at the bomb. So he yeah. took a photo, and it said hashtag Hell Gig. <laughs> oh, Mark Dorman so, bombing so, at the VMS. Funny. Wait, yeah. so that when that picture is taking taken you're in the middle of your set yeah yeah that's how bad it was why are those could, people's backs to you those are the people behind me in the mosh pit area they weren't even looking no i was just p playing to the uh the, the the crowd looking forward oh, in their but they, balconies. Didn't even, they didn't even turn around as they would no. rather look at the empty stage oh god no they had the best seat in the house right they couldn't see me right that was a that's a rough gig oh man. it was bro five thousand people look how happy seth is though yeah, he's dying, Scott. He, uh, Scott, sorry. Yeah, he's he loves loving it. it. He loves it. I mean, to be able to be bombing so bad that someone can take a selfie with you while you're bombing. You literally stopped and looked. You saw your friend there. I love that you're posing for the photo. Well, I could have. I would have. I would have sworn that that was after the gig, and you I, guys were both. I wish that's how bad it was. Where I was like, I need to fill thirty seconds with you coming up here. I was like, take a photo of me, Scott. And he was like, all right. And he came up, and I'm like, yeah, this guy. He loves it. I'm bombing. I'm just saying anything. It was just so talking. bad. Do you oh, know? Wow. I, I would literally pay. However much a ticket costs to watch your ten minutes and then mm. leave. Oh my god! There was another, you know, Leonard Oots. Yes. Yeah, he was in the crowd and he was filming me, and he was like, <gasps> "Damn, this motherfucker dying out there!" Like he's Did tagging he me. It, up? Uh, it was like blurry and you couldn't hear it, but uh, I, I have it on my phone. You don't want to see that footage, do you? More than I want a different angle of the JFK assassination. <laughs> I would, <laughs> I would, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to watch that. What At least terrible... somebody killed on that one. <laughs> now, did you s stay and watch the VMAs? No, I. Uh, the girl was like, "We got to go out there, Ariana Grande's," and I was like, "All right." And I stood in the back and I, I sucked down like four tequilas and lime, and then we watched like ten minutes of it and got the hell out of there. Was she mad to leave or no? No, she was like, "This sucks." We didn't have a seat. They didn't even give me a seat. It was the whole thing. Well, you didn't exactly earn a seat. No, did you? no, no. Maybe in the electric chair or something. But uh, <laughs> I love that that old guy felt sympathy for you. He's oh, like, "What? There, you well, got to get off." Saw the crowd. I love a good. What's better than a comedian friend bombing in front of five? This is literally that's what if it was. You killed. It would have been like, "Who cares? All right, cool. You right. killed. I mean, it's what you do anyway." The fact that you had to bomb and fucking swim and it was only yes. eight and a half. What a swim in a suit. What an awesome gig to bomb it too. Yeah. Exactly. That's and perfect. I You're kind of supposed to bomb it. That I'm kind of supposed to bomb. And I got the story the whole time I'm going. I got a story from my podcast. This will be fun to tell. And I'm, I, I get to say I played Radio City. Yeah. Which is, like, you know, always a dream. I've got Carnegie Hall, Radio City, and uh, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, but when people go, like, oh, you played Radio City, how did it go? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> bombed. Bombed in front of 5,000. <laughs> That's a bad gig, though, man. Bad gig, but at the paycheck, cleared. And even uh, Kevin Hart. When he went up, his jokes were doing okay. He wasn't killing when he was presenting the award with Tiffany Haddish. Just a mm. tough gig for anybody. His jokes, they all know Kevin. Yeah. His jokes were good in the room, but he was playing specifically to like a teenage audience. Like his yeah. jokes would have done fine on MTV, but when you took it out of that context and like you just watched the video as like you know, oh yeah, thirty four year old people, yeah, or older, um, yeah, much. Yeah, you realize it that, didn't work. They, they don't work as as comedy no. jokes. There was no host there. No one wants to host this thing. No one wants to be there. Like is Kevin Hart was there. He got the fuck out right after. Jimmy Fallon got the hell out right after. You just do your ten minutes and you get out of there. Is that why they don't have a host for sometimes yeah, it's because a nobody gig. wants to do it. it? It's like a it's antiquated. Like Sarah Silverman did it. Aziz did it. Schumer did it. Kevin Hart did it at one point. But it's it's just a paycheck. Yeah, and you get to you know be in front of a bunch of kids, so you stay a little more relevant. Yeah, right. I'd right. love to do it unless you <laughs> lobbying, unless you horribly bomb. Yeah, oh yeah, thank God that that wasn't televised. I'm, be... I'm lobbying to do it. 
You want to warm up or you want to host the VMAs? You want to host the VMAs? You want to warm up and host the VMAs? Wow. I want to warm up one year to prove that they uh, will enjoy me, and then I want to host. Maybe they can get Chip. (laughs) (laughs) That would be a funny host. I would love it. Jim would just go up there and make references to, like, the, like, three pop culture things that he knows. Yeah. Like, he'd make reference to Pusha T, (laughs) and then he'd go to Sean Paul, and then he'd fall into the Omen 3. Yeah. (laughs) It it wouldn't go well. (laughs) No, it wouldn't. I have to go to the bathroom badly. All right. Well, let's take a break. Yep. Um, you're going to go, is it a one or a two? It's a three. Oh, no. <laughs> Combination. It's got to come in someone's mouth. <laughs> All right. I'm all shitty. Your podcast is Tuesdays with Stories. Yep. MarkNormanComedy.com. Check her out. 